Hello my friends. I'm going to share with you today a really great bird feeder that I constructed that only took about 15 minutes to build. The build starts with a salvage satellite dish. I have a lot of these. There must be six of them in my barn. The first thing you, that you do is to change the orientation and pivot it so that it's sitting horizontally. Drill a pilot hole through the support and into the standing pipe. Run a sheet metal screw into this hole to secure everything. At this point you have a great bird bath, but I'm looking forward to making it into a bird feeder. The bird feeder needs to have drainage holes. Here I drilled about seven of them. This is the finished bird feeder. The next thing is adding bird seed. Here I'm using a sunflower seed screen and I'm just pouring uh, millet and smaller seed onto the pan. The only thing missing now is the birds and it doesn't take them long to locate the feeder. Before the bird feeder installation, it was rare that I saw a blackbird. These are the most common bird at the feeder now. The other birds that discovered the feeder are the red winged blackbirds, which is a few hundred yards from the feeder at my pond. They're nesting in the uh, cattails. And once they found the feeder, they make the daily trip constantly. I'm taking these pictures with a game cam that I have and I have left it up through the night. You can see here that the feeder gets visitors and this raccoon has been disturbing the feeder every evening. Uh, here the raccoon looks a little alarmed and we're having another visitor. And if you can just see at the base there it's a tip of a nose. And as you get a closer view, you can see that it is a deer that is also coming here and eating. After the visit of the deer, the raccoon was brave again and returned to the feeder. After the raccoon had its fill, it departed and it remained quiet the rest of the evening. Early morning brought the birds to the feeder with the discovery that most of the small seed has been eaten. And uh, the sunflower in its tower is laying on its side, but it's still filled with seed. This feeder has turned into a center of activity all day long, rain or shine. There's been quite a number of different birds that visited the feeder, uh, even including a woodpecker. I don't think he was here to eat the seeds, but possibly there were some worms or insects amongst the seeds that he was finding. My morning chore now is to straighten out the sunflower seed tower and apply some millet and finer seeds to the tray. Once the rain stops here in northwestern Pennsylvania, my next job will be to set up a bird bath. When you observe these birds, they are constantly searching the sky looking for predators that may be overhead. Here's a parent with its young one begging for food. And you can see the mother picking the food up and still feeding the young one like it's a little infant even though the young one is the same size as the parent. All is well in this beautiful land we call Turtle Island. Well, thanks for watching, my friends. Bye-bye.